So for those of you who are running SAP Business One version for HANA, I'd like to introduce you to a new feature that has just become available as part of SAP Business One 9.2 Patch Level 4. Um, one of the things that people often want to do is they'd like to get an overview of a customer. Let's say, for example, you're just about to ring a customer and you want to make sure you've got all of the information available to you at your fingertips. Well, there's a really nice way to do that in the latest patch release of SAP Business One, and that's called the Customer 360 Overview. Let's take a look at it. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to open up my Business Partner Master Data. So in my Business Partner Master Data, you, as you know, can go in and you can retrieve the core information about a customer. So you can view the account balance, you can see what orders you have outstanding and so on and so forth. But that information is very, very dry. So if you have SAP Business One version for HANA and you're on 9.2, you deploy patch level three, you will then get a new option which is available for you in your analytics. Okay, As part of your analytics process, the same engine that drives this capability to get these analytics views um, and to also have access to these dashboards. Now under the you can also option, you'll see there is this new option saying view customer 360. So what that does is it utilizes the pervasive analytics capabilities of HANA and it will bring up that information about that particular customer. So when you're looking at the customer, you're able to see information, for example, it's fairly self-explanatory. Um, you're able to see the total sales amount, gross profit, and so on. Now, a lot of this information is actually predefined for you. But of course, because it is based on pervasive analytics, you can go in and edit this information yourself. You can extend it, um, you can adapt it, and so on and so forth. Always better though if you do that in a new uh, dashboard view. Let the standard views stay as they are. So for example, if you go in here and you look at your sales, uh, you've got your sales amount. Uh, if you go and you look at logistics, you've got all your logistics information as well, your on-time delivery rate and so on. Now of course, Depending on the customer that you're looking at, you're going to get different statistics. So I'm looking at MaxiTech here, uh, and this is a customer that isn't exactly setting the world on fire for us. Um, but again, if I simply select here on my um, customer code, it will bring up that customer record for me. And then, of course, I can now move through my customers, and I can pick another one, for example, uh, I could go into Earthshaker Corporation, which tends to have a lot more of the data. And then I can go in here, I can say, you can also view the customer 360 for Earthshaker. So then as an executive or as a salesperson or a customer service representative, makes it really, really easy for me to go ahead uh, and get that snapshot of information about the customer. And you can see with Earthshaker, I've got a lot more information that's a lot more useful. So again, one simple view. Now, how do you switch that on? So unlike some of the other features that are uh, available for you in SAP Business One, you don't actually have to do anything to switch this Customer 360 functionality on. It's automatically there. You'll recall with other, um, other areas of functionality, you have to go into your system initialization and make sure you've got things switched on. Um, for example, when you're looking at your customer information, if, for example, you're looking at your customer information and you're not seeing this sidebar that has your UDFs and your analytics view available here, then that's because you haven't gone in here under modules, into administration, into system initialization and general settings. You haven't gone in here and in your display, you haven't enabled the sidebar. All right, to display those uh, those linked dashboards. So that's an important one um, to remember. One of the other things as well um, that I'm going to show you in our next video is a new feature that um, is powered by this SAP Business One Suggest. So stay tuned for the next video. Make sure you keep an eye out for that. And I'm going to show you a new way of getting suggested sales for a customer. Thanks.